Today we are doing the GLM Blue Editing Book for 1NA, Practice 14, page 66. You should attempt the questions before you look at this lesson uh, demonstration. Now, make sure that you have a pen and a highlighter with you. Let's start. The first and the last lines are correct. Find 10 grammatical errors. Put a tick on the first and the last line to tell yourself that it's correct. Next, identify the genre of the text. Read the first line. A city is a large and permanent human settlement. So this tells you that this genre of the text is a factual article. Next, identify the dominant tense. So just now, what is the verb in the first line? The verb is is. So what is the dominant tense? It is simple present tense. Write down that it's simple present tense so that you will be reminded when you are doing the questions. Okay, let's continue. A city is a large and permanent human settlement. Although there is no agreement on how a city is distinguished for a town, many cities have a particular. Okay, so there's an error in this line. Where is the error? Where is the error? So, look at each and every single word. There is no agreement on, that is correct, how a city, a city, city is correct, a is also correct, is distinguished, is distinguished, participle is correct, for a town. Okay, that sounds weird. Next. Many cities, plural form, correct. Have, correct. Because it is uh, plural subject, plural verb. A particular... Okay, so that sounds right. So in other words, the error should be here. How a city is distinguished for a town. Distinguished means like differentiated. So the error is here. Distinguish for a town. It's not distinguished for a town. It should be a preposition that's wrong. So it should be distinguish from. Okay? From. Because the preposition from shows the difference between a city and a town. Preposition. This is a preposition. Next, let's continue. Administrative, legal, or historical status based on local laws. Cities generally have. Look at every word. Administrative, correct. It means like uh, office work. Legal, it's correct. Historical, okay. Status, okay. Based on. Okay, this sentence is in part, uh, passive voice. So, base, this is in correct. So, this is incorrect. Okay, it should be in participle. So, participle of the verb base is based. Okay, based. So, in the word based participle next cities generally have this is correct complex system for sanitation which means public health utilities which means electricity sewage or gas land usage housing and transportation okay there are many, many, many examples of systems here. So, it should be plural form. Okay, so system, plural form is systems with an S. Next. Okay, the concentration of 
development greatly facilitate interaction between people. So I noticed that there is a, a subject here. The subject is concentration of development. So this is the subject and this is the verb. So singular subject, singular verb. Singular verb for facilitate is facilitates with an S. So it should be singular verb. Alright, singular verb. Next, continue. Between people and businesses, benefiting both party in the process. By both sense. Okay, I notice here, both. Okay, this clue word, both. So both means two. Two, so the party should be in plural form. How do you spell party in plural form? Parties. P-A-R-T. The Y you need to change to I-E-S. Plural form. Next. It also presents challenges to managing urban growth. Okay, sounds wrong. A uh, big city or metropolis is usually has associated. Okay, so urban tells you that is some city, and then this should be a noun form. So a noun form for that is grow. For grow is growth. T H noun form. Okay, next. Okay, usually it has associated sub up and sub ex ups. You you don't know what a sub up and ex ups is. It's okay. Now you notice this. Okay, notice this. Ex up with an s. So this should be an s. This is. Missing an S, right? So it's sub ups. S U R B S U B. Sorry, S S U B U R B S. Okay, so it should be plural form. Now, even if you don't know what's the word, you can guess it. How do you guess that? Sub up. Okay, the prefix. Is sub. So sub means near to. Up is the suffix. So it means urban or city. So what does it mean? Okay, maybe I should put it clearer. Sorry. Sorry. The prefix is sub, which is near to. The suffix is up, which means city. So sub up means near to the city, which also means uh, outlying. Okay, so out of a city, so it's outside a city. Okay, let's continue. Such cities are usually associated with metropolitan areas and urban areas, result in numerous business commuters traveling to urban cities. So here you should use a continuous form for result. Okay, what is the continuous form for result? Continuous form is at ing, so it will be resulting. Result spell I N G continuous form. Let's continue. Once a city expands far enough to reach a city, uh, another city, this region can be okay. So did you notice the subject here? That's wrong. The the subject a city, one city. So is it expand? Singular subject. Singular verb. So the verb should be expense. 
Okay, so expense. So that is singular form of expense. Next, this region can be deemed a conurbation or megapol megalopolis in terms of the population. The larger city is Shanghai, while the fastest growing is Dubai. So notice here, the fastest. So the larger, is it correct? Okay, so you know that larger, the tells you that it's, it's supposed to be superlative. So it should be largest, right? Fastest, largest. Okay, so key in that, largest. Okay, so that is a superlative. And there's a comparison made between the cities in the world, which is uh, Shanghai and Dubai. Oh, before I forget, uh, what does con urban means? Again, you can guess the meaning of a word if you know the prefix or the suffix. So con means together. Okay, this prefix con means together. The suffix is er, so er means city. So con urbation means extended urban area. It means a, a, an area where all these, uh, a few cities come together. Okay, so this is how you do practice 14.